Okay, so big cats in the UK. So what do we know? So for going back hundreds of years, actually, there has been people talking about signs of big cats in the wilderness. There's also been like you know uh, like hell dogs and hell hounds and all that as well, but which I suppose could get mixed up. But yeah, there's been big there's been sightings of big cats for hundreds of years on these islands. Now we did used to have them. We did used to have uh, these owls, this island. We did used to have like lynx. Uh, we also had birds, we had wolves, and uh, the story goes they were all hunted into extinction. Now we did also have uh, the Romans and they brought over quite a lot of animals, you know, for like games and stuff. And they're... So basically there's, there's some people who will say, well, the Romans killed everything off, but there's others who will say, well, actually some of those things might have escaped. And you know, that could have been where we had the first leopards and pumas on these islands. And we've always had a small population since then. And even the, some of the links survived as well. Which is plausible, it's happened in other places. Things have disappeared and then reappeared. And there's countries where they know they have these things and they never see them. We have thousands upon thousands of deer. You don't see them all that often. More often, re you know, recently, but still not that often. You never see bones. So, you know, the usual things you get thrown out. Well, what about blah, 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 blah. So yeah, so there's that. We definitely have enough prey. You know, we have deer, we have foxes, we have rabbits, we have birds, we have pheasants, we have domestic animals, because where there is sightings of these things, there's usually an uptick in domestic animals going missing, which is interesting. Uh, and the sightings up and down the country, and there is actually an interactive map you can go on, which is, uh, I think it's Pew March, North Wales. Uh, I'll try and throw a link up. And that's, and you can see where there's been sightings. There's been sightings of Warrington Way, Berry Way, Winter Hill, we had the Beast of Winter Hill, or Beast of Rivington. Two guys rabbiting come across something, like there was a sheep kill, like fresh carcass, and it was steaming, I believe, and something growled around between some eyes. There were some people talking about it being maybe supernatural, but basically, it, it sounds like if it, if you believe in it, that it, they've come across a fresh kill of a big cat, and that's probably the only time you would encounter any aggression from them, because these aren't going to be, they don't need to be massive here. There's no birds, no wolves. They're going to be sort of medium sized animals. They're going to be like a, a medium dog. That's the kind of killing machine. Fucking murder machine, definitely dangerous, but they're probably not going to come anywhere near us. More than likely, and the only time they're going to challenge us is maybe over a kill or cubs. So, yeah, so we've got some history there that we think we've had it for a while. Now, the history in terms of why they're here, so we've got that, the Romans, but we've also got, and that we did have them at one point, but we've also got the fact that, well, you used to have, people used to be able to have them as pets. So people used to be able to have anything you wanted, tigers, lynxes, pumas, leopards, panthers, whatever, people like that everything. And then the dangerous animal, animal that came in the 70s were essentially you had to have a small zoo to keep them and go for all these things. And a lot of, so basically you had to get rid of them. So your choice was find someone that attack them. Most places were full. Euthanize them or let them go. And people let them go. You know, and bear in mind, this is how sort of abundant they were. People used to use them to get scrap yards. People would have them in place of, like, you have a dog, you have a fucking puma. You know, Tom Wally in Wigan was famous for it. He used to own a couple, then he had a couple of pumas, and he was famous for walking down the street. One of the girls he used to work with used to live near him when she was a kid. She talked about, yeah, I remember him walking these pumas. And uh, I believe he used to have them in the pet shop and stuff like that. And that was just in our time. No, and it was, it was everywhere. And people released them. People would come forward and said, oh, I'll release them. And they would come and check on them when they'd find signs of them and stuff like that. You could say the bullshit, but that, that, so you've got that. There is also another one where the troops uh, who came over from America supposedly brought uh, mountain lions over, like cubs, as like little mascots, and supposedly, you know, some of them got left here as well. So there's a couple of, there's a few places where they could have come from. So there's definitely, the source is them, right? So could we have them? Well, there's a few possible places where they've come from there. There's one that we could still have links that just survived and got good at avoiding people. The Romans could have let some shit go because, you know, that could have happened. We could have had the American troops bring some over and then we had just fucking thousands of people who had them as pets who potentially a small percentage of them got released into the wild. And then they bred. We've got hybrids. We've got, you know, ones that have bred together. So there's all these things now. And as I said, if you go on Google, there is sightings up and down the country, everywhere. And we can 100%, 100%, uh, we could support them on this island, right? 100% if they were here. 
Now, there is, like I said, there is sightings, there's videos, there's news reports, there's photos, and they range from shit to compelling. So, uh, the one I've talked about like a few times is the doorbell cam. There was a doorbell cam footage, and I remember it's this big black thing, like a big black dog, but then it has a big curly tail. It just goes back, and it's like, wow, what is that? And there's a couple of drone ones I've seen that are very convincing. But then there's others where it's like a fucking stuffed animal in a field, and you're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you know, and so the waters get muddy. There's people who come forward who are legitimate, you know, there's police officers in the past. I believe the BBC had a little documentary on it at one point where it was like this police officer talking about it, you know, like with people. I think, yeah, the army hunting, that was back with me, the army hunting one as well, because there's been sightings everywhere, and I think local people were putting a bounty on it, they all got confused. But there's been, a, there's a lot of history with them, right? And there's a, like I said, there's a lot of sightings. And I sort of feel like, well, there probably is some good evidence out there, better than what we can currently find. But I just wonder if people would release it. So imagine if you're one of them people who lives rural, you live on a farm, you're a farm, and you, you, know, you live out the way of people, and you can't stand people. Or you can't stand most people. Certainly not townies. And you might know they're there. Fuck, you might kill them. You might, you might know they're there, you might kill them, you might just, you know, to protect your flocks, and you just think, fuck this, I'm not telling anyone because I might get in trouble here. You might have people who go out there hunting. They might know they're there. But again, they might just kill the other one. They might kill the other one and it's like their little private trophy. You know, a lot of people who are outdoorsy and, like I said, live rurally. They're not that ass. They're not like those townies with Instagram where you have to post everything on and stuff. They, they keep all shit to themselves. Or if you're someone who genuinely is dead into them and you love the idea of them being there, you might just think, oh, fuck this, I'm not going to tell anyone. Because if I tell people, I hate if people find out there's a fucking beast in Winter Hill, there's a fucking puma or a panther running around up there, people want it killed. So if you did find evidence of it, you'd have to really think, well, do I want to release this? Do I want to cause panic? Because I well, just want these animals to be there. And I just go, you know, and enjoy knowing that they're there and maybe try and find them again. It's a mystery, but it's one of the few out there still that I think, like, there's something to that. And it's something I'm definitely going to investigate further. Anyway, I hope this has been informative. Just a little rant on Big Cats in the UK. I'm going to try and throw some pictures up with it and some. I'm, I'm, basically, it's my first attempt at doing a little video on something where I'm going to throw some pictures on and some news headlines and all that. And I'm going to try and spice it up a little bit and I'm going to throw it on YouTube because I, it, it interests me and maybe it interests some other people. Maybe some people don't know about it. And it's. I want to go into it with an open mind but also be very skeptical. And that's my plan to investigate this with a skeptical open mind. Anyway, hope this has been informative and I'll see you on the next one.